Last week here on Thursday Night Thunder, it was a showdown in the snow, and Jeffrey Skipper in the U.S. Air Force Afterburner took home his sixth Thursday Night Thunder Championship. He's looking to hold on to that flag here tonight, as well as take Johnson Motorsports to another victory. And we also have a special announcement involving Chris Blue's Bad Weather Race Team. You don't want to miss it. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Thursday Night Thunder and we are back in the MTA arena and the fans are going crazy because we've got 16 of MTA's best ready to go head to head right here back in the dirt and these guys are stoked just as well as the fans are and Jeffrey Skipper's the man on top in the U.S. Air Force Afterburner. He's looking to hold on to the flag but Rich Wagner and Wild Hair's looking to gain it back as he took home the win to kick off the January season. There you see Jeffrey Skipper proudly carrying the checker flag on the back of the Air Force Afterburner. He's looking to turn it up right here tonight as we take a look at round one action. Samson takes on Iron Outlaw, followed by Medusa taking on Stinger Unleashed. Then we'll see Matt Cheever and Grave Digger the Legend take on Violet Craddock and Monster Mutt Poodle. Then we're going to see the Crash Test Dummy take on Brandon Jager and Zombie Fire to close out the first half of round one action. Now, coming up first... We have got Jason Cook back in action in the Samson Chevrolet. He's still trying to get his bearings out here on the circuit, but he is set to take on Jamie Hurd in the Iron Outlaw Ford at Otaga Noxie, Kansas. And what better way to kick off Thursday Night Thunder back here in the stadium than a Ford versus Chevrolet matchup. The Chevrolet out of Ohio, the Ford out of Kansas. Who moves on to round two action? We're about to find out as Thursday Night Thunder kicks off in week three of the January season down the straight stretch. Both of them are door handle and door handle flying high and Jason Cook and Sampson puts it into the wall, nonetheless getting the win over the Iron Outlaw Ford in the far lane. We'll see Jason Cook back in Sampson in round two action. Now, coming up next here in round one, Raylan Mullins made it all the way to the finals last week in Medusa. She is set to take on Austin Arabia out of the Bad Weather Race team in Stinger Unleashed, and he is ready to go against last week's finalist. Raylan Mullins put on a heck of a show, but lost out to her old man in the U.S. Air Force Afterburner. You bet she is out for revenge here tonight. Who's going to take it on to round two action? Medusa taking on Stinger Unleashed. Boat truck staged. Here's their green light now off the line, and Austin Arabia's got a lead in Stinger. Up and over the cars, and Arabia getting out of shape, and I think he may have gotten the win. Medusa hanging right there with him. Arabia had his hands full and Stinger unleashed in the near lane. We're going back down to take another look here. Look at him holding the lead out of Medusa down that straight stretch. And Raylan Mullins trying to play catch up on him. Watch Austin Arabia getting out of shape right here on two wheels around the cars. And picks up the win over Medusa. What a wild ride it was. But back in action with round one. It's your boy Shaggy, Matt Cheever. Grave digger the legend out here. He is set to take on Violet Craddock, who did phenomenal as well last week in the snow. She is ready to go here in the Monster Mutt Poodle, but she's got her hands full. Matt Cheever's been out here for almost a year now, driving Grave digger the legend. He knows how to put on a show, and he knows how to get down the track. Who's going to take it to round two? Stage, here's the green light now. Both of them off to a good start. The Poodle's got a lead on the legend. Cheever hanging right there with Violet Craddock. But she gets the win over Matt Cheever and Grave Digger the Legend. What a ride it was as we move on with round one. Brandon Jager coming to the line now. A well-decorated champion out here on the MTA circuit. He is set to take on Kieran Adams and the Crash Test Dummy at a K&J Motorsports. He picked up his first Thursday Night Thunder victory in the Liquidator Ford, kicking off the November season. Now he's driving his own ride. That's the Crash Test Dummy. He's got his hands full, though, because Brandon Jager knows how to get it done on the MTA circuit. Who moves on to round two? We're about to find out. There's the green light now. Zombie may have gotten him off the line. Flying high up and over no man's land. Zombie turns it over, and Kieran Adams is into the seat container in the end of the track, knocking over the tires nonetheless, getting the win over Zombie. Now next up here in round one, out of the Johnson Motorsports race team, it's the crazy cat Jason Wook and Prowler. Now set to take on Aaron Church in the back of Gone Dragonoid out of the Sky High race camp. 
These guys are about to lay it all on the line here in round one. Each driver trying to make a name for themselves out here on the track and do well for the respective teams. Who goes on to round two action? Who's your money on? Prowler or Dragonoid? Boat truck stage. Here's the green light. They come hard off the line. Dragonoid point a lead on Prowler. Flying high up and over the cars. And Jason Wook giving it all he had. The truck is fast. Just couldn't hang up with the Dragonoid as Aaron Church picks up the win. We are going to go back down and take a look at the photo finish and show you how close it was. Here you see the finish line. Aaron Church picking up the win by a nose in Dragonoid. Next up here in round one action, Eric Brunette in the Avenger Chevrolet hasn't been doing so hot out here. He's looking to turn it around here tonight. He is set to take on wild man Ryan Johnson here in round one. So you best believe Eric Brunette has got his hands full. The veteran stage in the far lane. He's looking to knock off the rookie early here and make some quick progress, claiming another victory for Johnson Motorsports Race Team. And if I may add, Johnson Motorsports has been at the head of the game with a lot of championships win as of late. Who goes on to round two action? Brodozer takes on Avenger down the street. Avenger's got a lead on him up and over no man's land. And the rookie upsets Ryan Johnson in the Avengers Chevrolet. Right here in round one, Eric Brunette puts Brodozer on the trailer. And folks, I gotta be honest, that was not expected. But however, moving on with round one, downtown Mitch Brown out of the Outlaw Motorsports Race team in Bigfoot. Now set to take on 10 time. Thursday Night Thunder Champion, that's Rich Wagner out of the No Fear Race in Camp. And you bet Rich Wagner, after claiming his 10th victory out here in the kickoff of the January season, he's looking to do it again. But this one's going to be an old-time gunfight. Ford and Chevrolet, seven-time champion, ten-time champion. Here's the green light. They're off to a good start. Head-to-head, -head, up and over, no man's land. Oh, my word, what a race across the finish line. Both of them letting it all hang out. I'm not even sure who got the win, but both of them. Letting it all hang out. The horsepower was flying down the track. Going back to the MTA instant replay. Even down the straight stretch. Watch them here. Both of them almost clear no man's land. And they come across the finish line right there. And Mitch Brown gets the win over Wild Hair. What a race it was. And next up, we've got the rookie, Sean Eichenberg, in the Black Pearl Chevrolet. He's set to take on your current Thunder champion, Jeffrey Skipper, now a six-time Thursday Night Thunder champion out of the Johnson Motorsports race team. And ever since he's gotten in the U.S. Air Force afterburner, he has been on a rail as of late. But I can say the same when he took over the driving duties for the West Virginia Mountaineer when he debuted that truck. Who knows what's going to happen? Here's the green light now down the stretch. Black Pearl hanging right there with the afterburner, getting out of shape. And Jeffrey Skipper puts Black Pearl on the trailer early, holding on to the checkered flag, taking it into round two action. Jeffrey Skipper may be on fire yet again here tonight. And folks, we hope you enjoyed the round one action. We have got an update coming from Chris Baluk's Bad Weather Race Camp, and we've got it right here. I talked to Chris Baluk this past weekend, and after a long conversation, he has decided to sell the Bad Weather Race Team, and he has sold it to none other than its Tropical Thunder driver, Chad Legit to Legit. He will take over all the trucks except for BKT. That will move the Chris Baluk to his brand new team coming out very soon, Michigander Motorsports. And we can't wait to see what kind of stuff he brings to the table for his brand new team. And ladies and gentlemen, we have got round two action coming up next. Samson takes on Stinger. Monster Mutt Poodle will take on Crash Test Dummy. Then we'll see Dragonoid take on Avenger. Followed by Bigfoot taking on the U.S. Air Force Afterburner. Now up first here in round one action, we have got the man who had the save of the night, Austin Arabia and Stinger Unleashed. He is set and ready to go for round two. Now taking on Jason Cook and the Samson Chevrolet, who looked bad fast there in round one. Has the crew got Samson dialed in? Because it sure looked like it after that round one pass. And can Austin Arabia keep it on all four flat here in round two action? We're about to find out as these trucks get set to go green. Samson's looking strong. Stinger's looking strong. Who goes on to semis? Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. Stinger may have got a lead on him, but Samson's coming back on him. And Jason Cook putting down the Chevrolet horsepower. Samson's looking wicked fast right here tonight. We'll see him back in semis because up next... Kieran Adams taking Crash Test Dummy back to the start line. He is set to take on Violet Craddock in the Monster Mutt Poodle out of the Dog Pound Race Team. And ladies and gentlemen, I gotta be honest, Crash Test Dummy didn't look so fast there in round one. Kind of fumbled up, got into the sea container down there at the end of the track. But the Monster Mutt Poodle pulled a slap wheelie there across the cars going across the finish line. She may be dialed in. Who goes on to semis? Stage there's the green light now. Monster Mutt may have a lead on him, but Crash Test Dummy's coming back, and Monster Mutt flips it over. 
Crash Test Dummy got across the line, but I want to say the Poodle was hanging right there with the Dummy in the far lane. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wild ride that must have been in the cockpit of that truck. Going back to the MTA replay, maybe Crash Test Dummy did get her off the line in the far lane. Monster Mutt trying to play catch up now. Hits the first jump right here, going up and over No Man's Land. And what happened to Poodle? Hit the stack of yellow cars, flipping it end over end. Nonetheless, that was just enough to cost her the victory. We'll see Crash Test Dummy back in semi-final action. And up next, we've got Aaron Church out of Sky High Racing, back in Dragonoid. He is set to take on the man that knocked off Brodozer in round one. Eric Brunette in the Avengers Chevrolet out of Columbus, Michigan. Now, both trucks are staged at the line there, ready to go. And Eric Brunette has got to be living large and in charge, knocking off such a veteran there in round one. He is set and ready to go against the Dragonoid. Who goes on to semifinal action? We're about to find out. Here's the green light. Both trucks hard off the line. Avengers starting to pull on Dragonoid. Up and over the cars. Dragonoid rolls it over. And Eric Brunette picks up yet another win out here on the MTA circuit. What a ride it must have been for the Dragonoid in the far lane. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going down to the MTA track crew and officials to make sure Dragonoid is A-OK. -okay. There you see right now, the crew is down there getting ready to roll Aaron Church back over in the Dragonoid. Took a bad bounce there in no man's land. Hopefully he hasn't hurt the truck too bad. Some fiberglass laying out there on the track. And oh my word, folks, he has got a lot of work to do to come back for the last week of the January season. We hope he can get it back and ready to go. And nonetheless, Avenger moves on. On. And Mitch Brown back to the line now, seven-time Thunder champion out of the Outlaw Race Team. He is set to take on six-time champion, that's Jeffrey Skipper, U.S. Air Force Afterburner out of the Johnson Motorsports Race Team. And ladies and gentlemen, you know if you follow MTA or Thursday Night Thunder, these two teams have been going head-to-head -head for some time now, the last few months, and it's been getting good. Johnson Motorsports takes on Outlaw Motorsports. The snowman, Jeffrey Skipper, takes on downtown Mitch Brown. Afterburner, Bigfoot. Here's he goes now down the straight stretch. They're off to a good start. Air Force pulling a lead and a wheel stand. Mitch Brown almost coming back on him. And folks, I'm not even sure who got the win. Was it Afterburner or was it Bigfoot? We don't know. We are going down to take another look at the MTA replay. Skipper clearly got him off the line. Mitch Brown trying to plant down the big Ford horsepower. Starting to play catch up, flying high up and over no man's land. Look at the wheel stand there in the far lane. Coming across the line right there. Jeffrey Skipper barely edging out. That wheel stand almost costed him. He almost lost out to Bigfoot. Nonetheless, picked up the win. And ladies and gentlemen, I have to remind you that next weekend, January 29th, 2022, it's our first big event, MTA Revenge, and 32 of MTA's best monster trucks will go head-to-head -head for the Revenge Championship right here on the MTA YouTube channel. You don't want to miss it. As we get set to kick off semi-final action, we're down to four. Samson takes on Crash Test Dummy, then we see Avenger take on the U.S. Air Force Afterburner. And up first, we've got Kieran Adams and Crash Test Dummy may have gotten lucky there in the last round, set to take on Jason Cook and the Samson Chevrolet, who has been running fast and strong all night, and they have got the big bad bow tie set on kill. Can he knock out Crash Test Dummy here in semifinal matchups? We're about to find out. Or is Kieran Adams going to make his way to victory number two in his Thursday Night Thunder jacket? Boat truck stage. Here's the green light now. Ford and Chevrolet down the stretch. Kieran's got a lead on him up and over no man's land. And Kieran Adams gets the win. Jason Cook gets the wall. And Crash Test Dummy will come back for the final round here on Thursday Night Thunder. A tough break for Samson. He was running so strong here tonight. And up next, the rookie who has been on fire all night, Eric Brunette in Avenger, knocked off this man's boss in Brodozer earlier tonight. But he's set to take on the current Thunder champion, Jeffrey Skipper in the U.S. Air Force Afterburner. Stage over there in the far lane. He's hoping to go knock out this man, Eric Brunette in Avenger, here in the near lane because he knocked off his boss man earlier tonight in round one action. Who goes on to the finals to meet Crash Test Dummy? We're about to find out. There's the green light now. Boat truck's hard off the line, hanging even down the stretch, up and over no man's land. Another wheel stand by the afterburner in the far lane. Both trucks getting all the way down to the shutdown area. Eric Brunette hanging right there with the snowman. Who got the win? I'm not even sure. We're taking a look at the photo finish. Your winner's the rookie, Eric Brunette in Avenger, knocking off two members of Johnson Motorsports here tonight. He is on fire, and ladies and gentlemen, this is what we all come to see. The finals on Thursday Night Thunder. Who takes home all the glory? Will it be the rookie, Eric Brunette in Avenger, who's been on fire all night long? Or is Kieran Adams and the Crash Test Dummy 
going to get his second Thursday Night Thunder Championship, bringing it home to K&J Racing. He is on a rail here tonight. Crash Test Dummy's been looking good, but Avenger has been looking a lot stronger, if I got to be honest. He knocked out two drivers from the Johnson Motorsports Race Team. Is the Avenger Chevrolet set and ready to go and dialed in? And can the rookie get his first win? Ladies and gentlemen, Crash Test Dummy, Avenger, it's showtime on Thunder. Here they are, door handle to door handle, up and over the cars here. Avenger's out of shape, and Kieran Adams getting his second Thursday Night Thunder victory. A well-deserved win for the K&J Motorsports Race Team. Crash Test Dummy is on top here tonight, but you got to give Eric Brunette credit. He was hanging right there with him, going back down to the MTA replay. Both trucks were hard off the line, looking fairly even coming down the straight stretch. Watch him hit the flat. And as they go up and over no man's land, Eric Brunette losing control of the truck, giving just enough room for Kieran Adams to pick up the win. And ladies and gentlemen, your Thursday Night Thunder champion right here tonight out of the K&J Motorsports Race Team, congratulations to Kieran Adams and Crash Test Dummy on your second Thursday Night Thunder Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we take a look at the overall point standings, Outlaw, Stinger Unleashed, Black Pearl, and Prowler hold the gate closed down there in the lower half with 95 and 90 points. And over at the top half of the bracket, Jeffrey Skipper still leads in points with 155 with the U.S. Air Force Afterburner. But tonight's winner, Kieran Adams and Crash Test Dummy, coming back with 140 points. Rich Wagner and Wildhair currently hold third position with 120 points, and Raylan Mullins and Medusa Holds down fourth place with 110 points and rounding out your top five, Jason Cook, who was bad fast tonight in Samson with 110 points. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap up tonight's episode of Thursday Night Thunder. We hope you enjoyed all the great action we had with side-by-side die-cast racing. Be sure if you haven't already, crush that subscribe button and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face, always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts, front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms, is what it's all about, signing autographs until the lights out, yeah. It's about that, it's about that. It's been a long time.